So it's pretty straightforward to think about applying the negative sign to both the x and the 9 when we're talking about subtracting expressions from one another. But what we're really doing here is using an example of a much broader property. And that property is the distributive property. So we're distributing this negative sign to both the x and the 9 when we say that we want to subtract them both from the 4. So I'm going to show you a slightly different way of looking at how to distribute that negative sign and what distributing a negative sign really means. First things first, we know that when we subtract, like we're doing here, that's actually the same as adding the negative of the thing that you want to subtract. So for example, if we have 5 minus 3, that's actually equal to 5 plus negative 3. Now that may seem like we're working backwards, but hang in there, this is going to be helpful. So let's do the same thing here. This is equal to 4 plus the negative of this entire quantity. However, when we're taking the negative of something, what we're really doing is multiplying it by negative 1. So in order to get negative 3, we actually have to say negative 1 times positive 3. So that means that if we want negative x plus 9, we actually need negative 1 times x plus 9. You'll notice that I didn't write a multiplication sign between this coefficient, negative 1, and the parentheses that surround x plus 9, because remember, there's an invisible multiplication sign implied between those when there's no space between them. So I'll just get rid of that. So here it's a bit easier to see explicitly why the distributive property is being applied in this case. We have a negative 1 that we're multiplying each term inside the parentheses by. So both x and negative 9 are each being multiplied by negative 1. The distributive property basically says that if you have some number or variable, let's call it a, and you want to multiply that by some number of terms that are inside parentheses, let's just pick two to be simple and call them b and c, and we'll just add them, although of course c could be negative, and you could be subtracting, or b could be negative. If you want to get rid of the parentheses, you'll end up with a being multiplied by each of these terms. So the a multiplies the b, and then that's added to a times c as well. So you can see why we use the word distribute here. The multiplication of the a affects the b and also affects the c. So we have a times b, original operator that was between b and c, the plus sign, a times c. So if we use that property in this case, we leave our 4 plus, and then we have negative 1 times x. Write the sign that's between the two terms inside the parentheses, negative 1 times 9. However, we know that negative 1 times x is just minus x, and negative 1 times 9 is also just minus 9. So we end up with 4 minus x minus 9. And that is actually what's happening when we are quote unquote distributing this minus sign to both terms in here. And then of course, we could rearrange and simplify again.